Hi everybody, this is Arch Hadaway 87 aka Ryan here with the May 10th Blu-ray and DVD update. And I haven't really gotten a lot this past few weeks, but I think I got four really good things. So it's definitely quality over quantity today. And the first thing I want to start with is a Criterion film, and that is the Holocaust documentary Night and Fog. And this movie, um, Truffaut called the greatest film ever made. And I, I agree with him in some aspect about that because this is 31 minutes of haunting, or haunting Holocaust footage and the story of the concentration camps and just how disturbing it actually was. And the filmmaker, he actually went to Auschwitz like 10 years after and filmed all this footage and the narrator has like a lot of kind of poetic a poetic way of telling what happened and everything like that and it's intercut with footage of the actual event the actual holocaust and it's really really disturbing but it is a must see for everyone and when you watch this I mean it has like a booklet and everything inside of it but I think this should be required viewing for like every high school in the world just so they don't I mean so history doesn't repeat itself and so that's Night and Fog. The next thing I got was um, something I've been wanting to get for a very long time on Blu-ray, ever since I heard that they came out with it on Blu-ray, and that's Cecil B. DeMille's The Ten Commandments, which is one of my all-time favorite movies, and they completely restored this film to... I mean, it's insane how much they restored this frame by frame. And they actually restored it really just for the Blu-ray. And so here's this, this comes with a slip slipcase and two disc set. And it's amazing like how clear the picture is. It looks like a brand new movie. And the restoration I don't think is ever gonna get any better than this. The action scenes, the sound is amazing, the colors are a lot more vivid than they were, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful restoration and one of the best Blu-ray of a classic movie that I've ever seen. And so definitely, definitely get this if you're in, into the Ten Commandments or just in the film epics from the 50s in general. So definitely check this out. All right. For some of you who've seen, uh, who saw my last Around the Town vlog where I went to Movie Stop and Walmart and stuff, some of you were wondering what I got. Well, what I got was two Blu-rays that I'm just so glad I bought. And the first one, first one I'm going to talk about is um, David Fincher's Zodiac. And this is the director's cut, which is, um, I mean, it only has like a five-minute difference, but the way it's edited and everything, this is, his, is David Fincher's actual vision for this film. And if you haven't seen this, it's a wonderful movie. And if you're expecting to see action scenes and like gory like murder scenes I mean there's some murder scenes in it but it's not like glorified gore then you probably won't want to watch this it's very methodical about the investigation and the true story of Zodiac you know the Zodiac killer who to this day still has not been caught and they have no clue who it was and it stars um, Robert Downey Jr. Mark Ruffalo and Jake Gyllenhaal and this is like the movie that Started, it came out in, I think, 2008. Uh, I think 2008. No, 2007. And it was really before the Iron Man, you know, Iron Man movies really took off. And so it was actually Robert Downey Jr.'s, like, comeback, like, movie to where they were like, man, he could play a really good role because his role that he plays in it, he plays a, um, a journalist that's just, like, so... All he does is smoke and drink, and he's just kind of... I mean, it's a wonderful performance by everybody in the movie. And I believe this is David Fincher's best movie. And I even think it's better than Seven, because Seven, um, you know, it's just your, your typical murder mystery. It's just really told, and it's like a really creative story. And, you know, it's addicting to watch. But this is like, art, this is artistic filmmaking right here and like everything from the set design I mean it really looks like 1970 San Francisco 
and it's a, about a three hour movie but it goes by so quick and it's just an amazing film and it's highly underrated and so I suggest you go pick that up the next movie is actually one of my all time favorite movies this is the last um, Blu-ray I'm going to show and that is Dr. Strangelove Stanley Kubrick's black comedy and this movie is awesome for so many reasons and if you could make a movie about like a fake nuclear holocaust like that's probably about to happen it's amazing like cause it's so funny but the thing is the story is that when Stanley Kubrick was making this book Red Alert into a movie he was like it's so stupid that this would actually happen in real life how can you not laugh at it and so even though like the story is based off of even though it says not true like the it's not based off of true events apparently it's based off of events that almost happened and stuff like that and so it has some truth to it but he said it was so ridiculous that how could he not make it into a comedy because like it was stupid of what these characters were and so he kind of exaggerates the caricatures of the characters and like it's just it's just a great movie you know if you're not really into it you'll probably watch it and if you say after 20 minutes oh this movie's really boring it's not funny at all it's kind of serious then you're not going to understand it um, you might not understand the, the humor in it, but it is a great movie. Um, produced and directed by Stanley Kubrick. He also helped with the screenplay. Um, it stars Peter Sellers, who plays three parts. He plays a, um, a officer in the Royal Navy, help like you know assisting an American general, and he also plays Doctor Strangelove, who's an insane advisor to the president and he also plays the president and then also has George C. Scott in a hilarious role as another general and it also has Sterling Hayden from The Godfather you guys might know or from other Stanley Kubrick movies like The Killing and Slim Pickens who everybody might know as the the one like idiot hillbilly sounding guy from Blazing Saddles so it's definitely a great film. I suggest everybody check this out. This is the Blu-ray book that it was released with and has awesome pages and profiles of the characters and stuff like that. And it's loaded with special features. And the thing I like about this restoration that they did is that they kept the graininess of the film. And so it doesn't look like... It's kind of like Taxi Driver when I was talking about the new Blu-ray of it is amazing and they kept the graininess. They didn't try to make it completely digital looking they kept the graininess of the film to work. still gives it that kind of mockumentary feel. And so I highly recommend this. Okay, everybody, that's my Blu-ray and DVD update. I wanted to remind you about, uh, if you haven't yet, check out the contest video about the contest that I'm running right now. And I'm actually extremely blown away about how many entries that I've actually got into the contest. I really didn't think it was going to be a big thing, but everybody seems to be having fun. So I'm really glad that everybody's having fun with it. And also, if you didn't catch my announcement, I'm, the next film I'm analyzing is going to be 2001. So get ready for that because that's going to be extremely fun. It might even have to be a two-parter because I don't understand how I could analyze that movie in just like a short, like, you know, YouTube video. So it might have to be two parts. And also, some of you might be wondering, when am I going to get my opinion of my favorite directed movies or my favorite uh, movies of 2000 to 2009 and your answer is to that question that I'm going to be making I think it's episode four of Ryan's favorites and it's going to be titled about directing film like my favorite directed films and I'm telling you right now I can't wait to do that because I feel like I'm just going to talk forever about each of the films and I will give you a hint this is one of them so Look forward to that. All right, guys. Remember, there's three ways of doing things. The right way, the wrong way, and the chat way. See you later.